Hello everyone, my name is Pratik and in this video we are going to see how to establish a connection between Spring Data JPA and Snowflake. Let's get started. I have divided this whole procedure into six different steps. We can follow these steps one by one. The very first step is to create a Spring Boot application and add below dependencies. Also we need a Snowflake JDBC dependency which we can download from Maven repository. Let's go to STS and create a project. We will create a Spring Starter project. Next, give the proper packaging. Click on Next. We need four dependencies. The very first is DevTools, Lombok, JPA and Web. Click on Next and Finish. Till then let's copy the Snowflake JDBC dependency as well and paste it in the form.xml. Let's go and paste it here. Do the formatting, save it and also update the Maven project. The project is updated. Now we are done with the first step. The next step is to create the student POJO, the controller as well as the repository. Now let's go to STS and do that. Let me create a class student inside the entity package. Let's give the annotation of at the rate entity as well as at the rate data and let's create its property. Private string name and also we'll have private string address. Let's give at the rate ID annotation for unique identifier to this ID. Now we are done with this student POJO. Let's create a repository. I'll simply create an interface inside this repo package. Let's give it a name as student repository. We'll add a JPA repository here. Click OK and finish. Here we need to give two things. The very first thing is the POJO class name which is the student and second is the type of the ID which is integer. To organize imports by using Control shift o import it student POJO and also let's give the annotation of repository. Now let's create the controller. I'll give student controller inside the controller package let's give the iterate rest controller let's create a get mapping first to get the all students i'll give student get all and this method will return the list of students okay just import the list and student. Here I'm using Control Shift O to organize my imports. Let's auto add the repository. And just call the find out find all method here. Dot find all. Let's create one post mapping also to save the new student. Give it student slash save. Let's create a method which will return a string saying the student has been saved successfully. Let's give the request body here which will be the student object. Now give repository dot save and pass the request. Now let's return a string saying student has been saved now here we are done with our second step as well the third step is to create a snowflake dialect now let's create this class i'll explain why we need to create this class as well so just create a class first inside dialect package 
the name will be snowflake dialect okay extends dialect this dialect is from hibernate dialect now we need to create this snowflake dialect class which extends to dialects why because there is no default dialect available from hibernate which can be directly used to get this connection so we need to create our own class and extend it to the dialect class now we're done with the third step the very next step is to get the account details of snowflake we need account url username password which you must be knowing already we need database name schema name as well as warehouse name let's go to this snowflake account this is my snowflake account login into your account and click on this arrow go here and click on this pin this will copy your account url paste this account url somewhere in the notepad we need this url let alone as well as click on this box it has few account details which we may need further now i'll open this worksheet if you don't have any worksheet you need to create a worksheet just click here and here we are inside the worksheet so first step is to create a database you can create a database by using this query once you create the database it will replicate here the demo db we need this database name we need this schema name also we need the warehouse name copy these all things paste it into notepad and keep this ready the step four here is to create the application properties we need to create our data source to be provided so take a look at this spring dot data source dot url and see that how we have created this url simply you need to copy from here to end and replace with your credentials keep this jdf snowflake as it is and this from abcd to this dot com this will be your account url which we have already copied the next step is to give the db this will be the database name whatever you will create keep this client result column case insensitive as it is give the warehouse whatever your warehouse name is also give this thing as it is and give the schema as a public first check what is the schema you have selected in your snowflake account paste the username password and copy this last line as it is we need this snowflake driver to be provided in the application properties copy these things create your own credentials accordingly paste it into application properties the next step is to we need to provide this dialect now this dialect is nothing but the snowflake dialect class which we have created you need to give the fully qualified name of this class check your package properly and copy this package name and paste it into this property and copy these two things and paste into the application property now we are done with the five steps now we can start the application and see whether the connection is successful or not we are about to complete the six step which we will see later on let's see whether the application is running the connection is established or not i'm sorry i forgot to put this application properties now i'll copy this application properties which i had already created i'll paste it here i'll overwrite and then let's start the application or uh, this time the application should start successfully yes now let's go to postman and hit the api i have already created this json to be stored into the database you can create it accordingly and this is our url let's hit it you can see we got the response Let's see whether this is added in the Snowflake or not. We will hit the select star query, and we could see the student has been successfully added. Let's add one more student, and we will give any name. Now we have two students in our database. Let's see. Yeah. The next step. we will 
hit the gate API. Now let me try that. And we got error. You can read this error carefully. You will understand something. But I have the short description of this error. Let's go to notepad and see. So whenever we create a connection with Snowflake, the result of the query won't be in the JSON by default. It will be in the arrow class, arrow object. Now we need to convert this into JSON. So for that, we can execute this query. Alter user username, set JDBC query result format as JSON. You can copy this, paste it on Snowflake, and just execute this query. This will be your username. Just execute. Now the default format will be JSON. And let's hit this API once again to see if that works. And yes, we are able to fetch the response. You can click on this URL and find out more details about this error to get more clarity. We are done with this video. We are uh, successfully created the connection between Spring Data JPA and Snowflake. If you find this video useful, please do like and subscribe. Thank you.